Hey everyone, welcome back to the NASCAR Heat 3 crew mode. Let's play for race 19 to 23. The final race for the round of 8. And we're going to Talladega for Talladega 250. So, the last part we did was Las Vegas. And it was pretty tough at the beginning because I qualified way back. And I ended up winning. And I worked my way through the field and I ended up winning the race. Not that hard. I ended up winning. So that means just we go into the season status and look at the playoff grid. I am now 82 points and I'm locked into the round of, tw round of eight. Oh, no. Jesus Christ. The round of six along with John Hart and even check. So now the guys that we really need to focus on is technically Brent Moffitt. Uh, ben Rose, Greg, Gregson, the Grand Infigure. Ben Rose, Brent Moffitt is 25 points above the count line. You never know what's going to happen to Talladega. You never know what's going to happen. John Sauter, he's okay. He's 47 points above. I think he's fine to make it to the next round. Because, you know, at, on the racetrack, every position is one point when you're in the playoffs. Every position. So, Brent Moffitt, if he gets a bad finish, if he's plus 25, he could possibly be, be out. And Grant Infigure will be in. Cody Coughlin, he's probably out unless if he gets a win. Right? Cody Coughlin, he's 46 points below the cut line, so he has to win. Has to win. If you're, if you're that low, you're in a must-win situation either way. Set ins, hard difficulty, 13%, two times normal, straight down three, so you just quick qualifying, light damage, stability help off, uh, always use custom setups and manual transmission. Just, I read it all just to... So, so, just so you guys know what the settings are like, can't speak. As far as the facility goes, uh, I just maxed the engine out to 100, and now all I need to do is try to get the suspension out to 100, which I need another God knows how many. So now we're going to head straight into the race, get on the qualify, and see where we start. 20th. I even did worse than what I did. I even did worse. It doesn't matter where you qualify, Talladega. It doesn't matter where you finish. Start 19th on the inside line. All right. The setup is going to be default. Um, this fourth gear, I did. I lowered it by one notch just for qualifying, but I might put it back to where it was because I'm I'm too OP in the truck series. I'm too OP, and we'll see who failed qualifying. All right, here we go. We'll see who failed qualifying here at Talladega. Corbin Forster. It looks like John Harnivichek also did, yep. And we'll see what happens to Talladega. Ninth in stage one. I was pushing Noah Gregson to try to get to that inside line, and I did. So ninth in stage one. Austin went self won the first stage, we'll see what happens in the second stage. 23rd in the second stage, because I keep pressing square, because I... Oh my fucking god. Alright, now... It doesn't matter where I finish because I'm already locked into the next round, but... Oh my god! I keep thinking this is Heat Evolution, Heat to where Square is to change gears, but no... I... It's... Fuck it. Off a turn four, head down to the trial None's gonna happen. At the start, I do... Coming for 23rd. And to win here at Talliga! Not that hard. I went from the back to the front, just like that. I'm not going to do any burnouts here, because, you know, nothing's going to happen when we win races. Right, and here are your highlights. Take the green flag. I took the checker flag. Not that hard. This is why I made the pass for a fourth. Lap six, I made the pass for second here. I kind of cheated to go below the apron. Now this time I drop back to Tad after the, after this accident where I made a mistake to I made a mistake to shift down the third and then that you can see what happened behind and then you can see what happened behind me. Yeah, I made the pass for 20th. I fell back to 23rd after that accident that I've had. Pass for 17th. Actually, let's show that. We are getting up speed here. Here we go. I'm sorry if you're seeing it at a weird angle, but I had to do it. I, I'm sorry if you guys are seeing it at a weird angle, but my arm will be pretty tired. So I had to show it at a different angle. Oh shit. Let's do this kid. There we go. 
eighth place. She there passed for fourth. Third. Second. Rear angle again. Add to the lead. And won the race. Not that hard. Way on the win the race here, Tal Vega. And there we go. So the amount of money I have is almost the amount that this race paid out. 16, 99 grand, almost 100. And there you go. I didn't show you the playoff grid, but I will show you after this. That's all I'm going to show you. I set the fast lap of the race 53.16. And, and Austin Wayne self led the most laps with nine. On the move was me, 19th to first. Top break for Joni Michek, 14th to 31st. There we go. You advance to the round of six. It showed it this time. It showed it. The other time it didn't show it, but this time it showed it for once. 151 fans. You're the only one out on the track. Stay off my bumper. Well, you can fuck off. How about that? You're so aggressive out there. Well, fuck off. I don't care. I'm not being aggressive. Next one's a truck race. And it's at Martinsville. And I need to show you the playoff grade because I forgot to show you that. So I'll show you that real quick. I'll show you the playoff grade. Oh. They're going to give you payback at Martin. Jesus. Alright. And... There's your round of six. It is me, Johnny Sauter, Grand Endfinger, Brett Moffitt, Ben Rhodes, and John Hart Neiman check. Oh, wait, go back. So the ones that they make it is Noah Gregson minus three and Cody Coffin a whopping minus 59 points. So those are the ones that they make it. And the round of six, you already know who the round of six is because I just told you. And at Martinsville for the next race, I'll see you all there. And as always, have a good day, everyone.